Hi guys, right, welcome back to Orange United YouTube channel and this is the latest uh, transfer video for you. Um, <laughs> it's been a little while, a couple of days. It's uh, been actually quite dead um, with uh, West Ham links, transfers, rumours, you name it. Um, and the latest one that's come out over the last week is Diop. Now, whether you take a pinch of salt or whatever, but apparently um, May United have been looking to nab him off us for 45 million. Uh, do one is basically what the fans are saying uh, and what the club are saying actually by uh, calling their bluff and saying well actually no forget your 45 million we'll take 70 million and apparently one of three players were in the uh, we're in the offering for a player exchange in Phil Jones Anthony Martial and uh, Scott McTominay now what I'm concentrating on in this video is Scott McTominay, because personally, I'm actually a bit of a fan of him. I think he's a pretty good player. Um, a lot of people might not, that's, that's up to them. Um, but personally, I think he's uh, I think he's a quite one of the main United's best players this season, which I know says a lot, because they've had a pretty poor season for their standards anyway. Uh, but I think he, he, if we did sign him anyway, if he wasn't part of a deal, he could possibly take over from Noble uh, when he eventually retires, which kind of seems like never the way he's going. Be 40 years old and still playing for West Ham somehow. But yeah, so it's got the Tom in it. Uh, he's uh, 20, very, he only 20, and he's made uh, 31 appearances in total for uh, Man United, scoring two goals. Um, and he made his debut in the 16 17 season. And uh, he's sort of been a mainstay around there, here and abouts. And he's been used by Man United in quite a few big games uh, this season, including the Champions League games. Uh, against PSG, but of course they went through. And I think in general, uh, he's actually, you know, okay, maybe not in a poor, but I think he's one of their better players on his day. So, if we did sign him, out of all the players mentioned, there's no chance of us getting Martial, unless we offer him big bucks, because I think he, even though it's in the Europa League, he'd still want to stay for Europe. But if we offer McTominay some sort of deal where he'd be, you know, the mainstay, the... Uh, the guy to take over from Noble's shoes, perhaps. I know Rice is kind of in that ilk, but he can still play centre back, and McTominay is pretty more effective as just main, mainly a, a midfielder. Um, but look, it, it, it's a rumour, and I think, if I'm honest, these rumours are coming about because West Ham, for some reason, aren't linked with anyone for the first time in probably about 10, 15 years because we seem to get linked with everyone constantly every week, even while the season's going on and the transfer window ain't open. So time will tell. Um, I wouldn't. I would take everything with a pinch of salt personally. Uh, well done, West Ham, for finally you know doing something right and calling the, the team's bluff. I personally wouldn't sell the up for any money. I think his potential is is too big. Uh, if you offered a hundred million, I'd still go. Nah, maybe maybe not. Um, I'd personally keep the up and build defence around Valbuena and him. So if we if we actually want to achieve this season, uh, we need to keep our best players. And that's the problem with West Ham find at the minute, is that Diop and the like are going to be linked with teams higher in the table who've got more money than us, this, that and the other. So really, if we're hoping to keep all these players, we've got to start achieving. So this season, something like finishing in the top four, um, slash top seven, top, you know, getting Europa League at the very least, I think has to be on the agenda. Uh, yes, a cup run would be nice, but, you know, Let's be honest, in modern football, players don't sign the dotted line for FA Cups and League Cups. They want Champions League and Premier League um, success. So, I'm not saying we're going to go for the Premier League next year. I'm not saying we're going to go to Champions League, but we've got to try and at least aim for it and get somewhere near there. This season is a massive benchmark for Pellegrini. He needs to get it right and he needs to start getting higher than 10th. Otherwise, these players are actually going to go. And it's not going to be, uh, oh, shut up, mate, and you're friendly admit this much. Trying to you know, be cheeky with a, with a low ball bid. It's, this is just the start. So let's hope you achieve something. Let's hope you don't sell the up. And um, yeah, let's hope for a good season. Keep hold of the best players. So uh, yeah, come on your minds.